Welcome to yet another episode of Optics Rate in the Field. <clears throat> Today we're going to test and uh, take some videos with uh, Pulsar thermal monoculars, thermal scopes. So, Andras, which scopes are we going to use today? We only have the thermal monoculars that Pulsar currently has in its offer. So we have the Axion that's brand new 2019 mm -hmm. and we have the Helion devices with us. Okay, so the Axion, we have two devices, the XM30 and XM38. Uh, why is the key, Axion key missing? Well, the key is missing because it does not uh, have the compatibility with the stream vision. Basically, it cannot capture videos or take photos. So yeah, we, we tried it to, to take some videos with a, with a cell phone, but... It, it just doesn't work out. Doesn't work. So the comparison we will made with those devices which enable stream vision app and which enable the capture video. So which Helions do we have here today? We have the XP38 and we have the XQ38. Do we have any others? Yeah, we also have the XP50 and XQ50. So we uh, have all the... 38 the and 50 range, devices, yeah. Yeah, the, the XP28, the XQ28, the XQ19, they were all discontinued already. Uh, why are we missing the accolades? The well, we're missing the, the accolades binoculars. because basically they're identical to Helions, except that they're binoculars, yeah. which is basically why we're not having them here. So when we capture video, basically the accolade XP50 and the Helion XP50 have a completely the same image, the same video. And the same applies also to XQ38, the Accolade and Helion, they both capture completely the same video. So it was no sense of uh, doing two duplicate videos. As you can see, we're out here in the open. So Theodore, what is the setup of today's video that we're taking here? So we went about two kilometers away from our office into the nature. And you probably see in our previous videos similar to this when we did the comparison of all the Helion devices at that time and we did this with the animals but uh, we learned that it's really difficult to have completely the same conditions for all the pulsars and all the thermal cameras to capture the same video so this time we'll try at first to do this video with us two we will be the objects the warm objects which the the Helions and the axions will film yeah uh, so at which distances from the devices are we going to stand or, or move? We are going to stand at 50 meters like we are now here. We will also try 75 meters and maybe we will also do a 100 meters. The point is that we capture completely the same scene on a known distance with all the devices at the same time. This is something that we are not able to achieve with the animals. This is the reason why we are standing here and this is the reason why the cameras will take videos of us. Um, <clears throat> This way, we really wish to make the comparison where you are able to compare one device against the another. You are able to see the image, how you would see completely the same scene with, let's say, Axion XM38 and how would you see it with a uh, Helion XQ50. You are able to compare apples with apples, not apples and pears. And if I understand you correctly, we'll all uh, set all the devices on the lowest possible magnification that yeah. the device offers. Yeah, we, we set them all at the basic setting so that you are able to see what you get from the box without any, uh, without any special settings. We also uh, set all of them for um, black and white image. White is hot and uh, we put them on stands really close together on the same distance so that they are getting completely the same scene at which they are capturing video. Uh, so Andras, we already explained that uh, all of the devices are going to be set at the lowest magnification. What about the brightness and contrast? The brightness and contrast will both be set at 10, so at mid setting. Yeah. So basically everything, uh, all the settings are the same as when you get the device out of the box. That's right. Yeah, That's with a right. higher contrast you are able to uh, to change, alternate the picture, but we said okay we'll just show how it is by default. So to explain a little bit how the video is going to be made, uh, so Andras, what are we going to do in, in the image? Well we basically are here now standing at 50 meters and we are going to, each of us is going to walk in the one of the directions, one of us on the left and one of us on the right, uh, so that we still fit in the field of view uh, of the of the device that has the Mac, the biggest field of view, basically. The widest field yeah, of view. Yeah. So basically, with some devices which have a narrow field of view and higher magnification, we will be out of the image quite soon. 
but you will be able to see on other videos I think that the widest field of view is on uh, Helion XP38 at least I think so uh, so when you will look at that video you will see us until the end of the field of view we'll almost touch the maximum points the extremes and then we will go back to the center again so uh, it's not only that you are able to see the details how the devices are able to capture all the details at 50 meters and 75 meters it is also that you are able to see what field of view is available with some device with with each one of these devices okay i think we are set okay so now you're able to see us at 50 meters and this is going to be the first test the first video was made on 50 meters so let's raise our hands you can see the details now with the thermal cameras and now Andras, let's go in each direction like in the wild west right? <laughs> <laughs> okay let's go i think we reached the extremes on the device which has the widest field of view and probably on all other devices we are outside of the screen at the moment so let's go back to the center okay now i think that all the details should be seen maybe we can go a little bit further apart Okay, so now we are standing at 75 meters. That's right. Will we repeat the drill? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so you can see our hands on the thermal devices. And now let's go in each direction. Okay, so now we are not at the maximum, the, at the extremes of the field of view. Now we are somewhere in the middle, so I think with the half of the device that we should still be in the, in the field of view and we should still be visible. Only with those with the highest magnification and the narrow field of view are we absent. Should we go back to the center? Let's go. I think that now the differences will show between the devices because on 75 meters you can clearly see which one gives you better details and which one doesn't. Okay, so now we are at... 100 meters. This is going to be a challenge, I think. Yes. But the biggest challenge is going to be for the mics, if, if the sound will reach our camera. Uh, so we'll just repeat the drill and to see how the thermal cameras are picking up us, uh, up us at 100 meters. So. Let's see if the details can be seen, how our hands are seen. And now we can go left and right, yeah? Let's go. Okay. This is a stretch. 100 meters is really something for most of the cameras, I think. 